Good morning all, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, <clears throat> we're going to install some domestic uh, air conditioning um, supply uh, for a client we've worked for before. We've done the board and we've done the um, outhouse shed uh, man cave for him. Uh, we're gonna nip to Rexal and pick up some Prismium cable from there. Some of you might recognize uh, some of the old names, New Ian Air, WF Senate, Wilkes Electrical, Rexal have now merged them all into the Rexal brand, which has now given them over 200 locations nationwide. Massive, massive company now. So we're going to go nip to the Whitney branch, which is our local branch, uh, see John there and uh, collect some bits, get James first, and then we're going to go to the job, and we'll see you there. Good job. <laughs> Take see you easy, mate. Mate. Yeah, see you later, mate. Thank you, thank yeah, you, and you, mate. Take care. <laughs> I I'll chat to you later, yeah? yeah see you later, mate. Living the dream, then, is it? Living the dream, mate. How are you? Yeah, well, all good, mate. All good. Obviously, you got a shirt on for us. Yeah, it's a special occasion, mate, isn't it? So. Yeah. So, have you got some cable for me? I have, yes. Let me go grab that for you, mate. Well, cheers, buddy. James? Yeah. How's your socks? Stunning. Uh, Top man. Put that down there for you, mate. Thank you, bud. That's for you, mate. There you go, my friend. Look at that. We'll get a free trolley. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll even take it to your van. What I also there. need, mate, actually, yeah, is an isolator. Isolator? What? A uh, rotary isolator? Or yeah, 20 amp. Uh, no, 32 amp. 32 amp? You should have one out here, mate. Yeah. Look at that, in stock. Would you like a large enclosure? A large one or yeah, a smaller one? That'll do, bud. Yeah. Yep. Lovely. There you go, mate. Thanks, mate. Shop man. Let's I'll go, James. Look at this service. <laughs> Service with a smile. Oh, we love it, don't we? Eh? Yep. <laughs> stunning, James. Absolutely stunning. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Good old boy. Have a good mate. We'll right. bring it back in, mate. All right. Bring the trolley in. Yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Mate. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Fismium. Three quart, six mil. We've got that big isolator, haven't we? So we're going to put in a... Can you get that breaker, mate, out the front? We've already fitted a fuse box board here. So we, uh, the manufacturer recommended a C-type. So we've got a C-type um, RCBO to go in our board because we may as well put it on an RCD. We've got uh, six mil. It's going to be free aired, sat on a plasterboard, straight out the wall. Um, we've got RC type 32 amp, uh, type A, RCBO. That will go in our board. We'll show you that and then we're going to get the cable in, 6mm free core, um, perfectly adequate to take uh, 32 amps. So let's crack on. So, some old boys have been and done the board. Look at that, 26 over 21. Okay. Yeah, and look, spare ways. So, only reason I leave spare ways, and you can add a high load in there. Look, so we'll have the 32 amp in there, James. 32 amp C type. We'll go out the top of here and hopefully. He reckons somehow we're going to fish over the ceiling. There's the outside unit where the aircon guy is. We've got to come out above the ceiling somehow. We might have to lift the floor above though, mate, because there ain't no holes here. God knows how we're going to do it, but. Ah, what's up there? Yeah, that's the boiler fuel room up there. So somehow we have to get a cable over. So what we've got is a cable going up that little hatch. Actually comes out through the light there. So what we're going to do is take the lights out and hopefully fish, fish James, fish the cable through but from the outside inwards, yeah? But there is a central heating pipe apparently along that back wall, so we have to be careful, mate. So our new bestest mate, the air con guy, we don't even know his name, he drilled all out for the pipe work. So we need to get in the ceiling, so I reckon if we go 18, no, if we go to be safe, James, mm -hmm. 19 
inches above his hole yeah where he's core drilled and look if you look here if you look there we've got a joist yeah we need to make sure that we are this side of the joist so we're going to be roughly there which is roughly eight inches off his hole if we go seven inches yeah mm -hmm. that'll put us in this side of the joist and then we can fish through those lights into the two minute cupboard so we drilled a hole that's all right, you, you enjoy your... Look, there's a drill bit up there, James. Can't really see it, but we drilled an hole. So we're in the right place, okay? Neighbours already complained about the aircon unit, but that's life. And he's already spotted some biscuits and some buttons. Don't do it. Don't do it. Give it five minutes, James. Give it five minutes. <laughs> He'll be on it in a minute. So we're going to oversize the hole so we can get our six mil armoured through this um, and start fishing it through. Richard, no swearing. <laughs> so there's our drill bit. Very technical. There's our drill bit, look. That's a metre. So we're going to oversize this now, push our six million, then we're going to jump in Richard's trunk in here and then put an isolator, 32 amp isolator on the right hand side here. Pucka ducka. Okay, there we go, SWA. James is going to feed it in. You ready? Hopefully. Right, stop there a minute. Stop there a minute. Have we got it here? We have. Something up there, I think. Let me have a look. Oh, I think it's gone over this beam. Yes, there it is. Go on, mate. And the reason I used armoured as well, because I knew it would be it's a lot more rigid than twin earth. Plus, it gives us that added protection, uh, penetration from nails, screws, whatever, really. Well, hopefully. I can pull it out of this hole now. Hey, it's in Richard. There we go. Armour's in. What we'll have to do is, obviously we've got heating pipes here, which is a bit stupid. I think the client is going to get this boiler moved at some point out of this cupboard, which would be nice, but the gas meter's still here. So what we'll have to do is probably come to keep it off of these pipes somehow. I don't know when we're going to do it, but it's there, mate. So we can put these lights back in. That'll keep the armoured away from the lights, yeah? Yep. Push it over. I was just saying about how we're going to glam this in here. Right. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? Because I've got all these heating pipes. I reckon we're going to have to just come in the front of them, yeah? Yep. Loop over and then put some insulation on the pipes and then run it in, blend it in, yep. in the top here, yeah? One of them. That's what we can do, mate. Okay, there we go. So we're going to probably go in that one there. And then I'll gland, I'll cleat that to the ceiling, straight down in front of the pipes, leave two or three inches gap, and then it will go straight into one of the pre-done knockouts in the top. Um, still looks good, and no one's been in since us, so yeah. Anything that does annoy me is that full height RCBO, look. <laughs> Just does my OCD, but that's life. Okay, we got him in, it's cleated in, off the pipes, look. Cleated in, we're gonna put a locking nut that end with a fly lead, it's just easier than faffing about in this board. That will stay like that now, we'll lock the cupboard, we'll go out and do the isolator first before we connect this into the fuse board. Richard, it's Richard, he's coming out. So, oh, sweating man, get that aircon on. Yeah? Um, yeah, down. 
down, along, in. We'll just put the isolator here, mate. That'd be alright. And then Richard can um, flex out and. Yeah? Yeah. Flex out and onto there, yeah? So cut that off. That'll go there. That'll go into the trunk in. That gets you down to there. Cut that off. There, me old sausage. No V sip, yeah? Yeah. Yep. That's it. I'm going to actually just get you the blade, actually. I'm not letting you use a hacksaw. I'm joking. <laughs> Go on, James. You won. Okay, we got our hole drilled. We don't always blow the brick out, look. Okay, come straight down, drip loop to the isolator. Uh, we've got a piranha nut style thing on there, one with a grub screw, and one we'll put on a flyly this end. And as requested, the aircon guy wants us to use the unswitched neutral. He doesn't want us to put the neutral through the isolator for some reason. So when we label this up, we'll just put um, neutral not isolated at isolator, isolate at the board, because it's got, we've got a double pole RCBO so they could isolate it there. Um, we're just going to make this off now and then we'll get on with a bit of testing. Right, we fly lead up the piranha nut here, tag into there, neutral as requested into terminal block. As I said, we'll put a label on the front and then we're going to do some testing now, James. We're going to do R1R2 first, didn't we? Yeah? Cool. <laughs> Right, there we go, all testing's done. 18.4 on the RCD, 0.28 and 0.15 hour R2. Insulation resistance, obviously 500 mega ohms plus. Uh, one thing to note is if you're using a C-type breaker, then um, it will um, decrease your max uh, ZS. Okay, so we're well within, we're well within that um, 6109. Don't know what it is off the top of my head on a C-type, don't use them much, but um, Obviously, want it for the startup current because this is um, sometimes if you get a lot of startup current, it will trip a B type. So that's why he asked for a C. He also asked for the neutral to be connected into there, not for the isolator because he's had funny problems. I don't see how that affects it, but um, is what it is. I've put him a stuffing gland in there. We're going to put the lid on, and then we're going to put some labels on. All right there we go. Isolate neutral at board at RCPO. Try and get the label straight next time, shall I? Um, that's all right. So we're all done in, ready to go. James is doing the last label for the fuse board. Can you grab the hoover, mate? Do a little in here. Um, I did notice the client made a little disboard schedule, look. Oh, well, yeah. So you can update that one, because number four now will be ours. So label on there, mate. And then it's ready to go for the air con guy. There's our cable. Yeah. Just stick it on. Yeah. Anything with these, you need a magnet. Contact and make a little um, magnet for theirs. Do they? Mm. Have to go that way, mate. That That's way. not into the world. Yeah. It's labelled, isn't it? Aircon supply. There we go. Jobs are good. In. 
Cool. There we go. That's another job done. Thanks for Rexal for sponsoring the video. Thanks for Prismium for being involved supplying the cable. Thanks to Mike, the client, for the tea and the snacks. Thanks to Richard for letting us use his level and his steps. We've put them both in the back of the van. He doesn't realise that yet. Uh, anything to say, James? No. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Thanks for joining. Hope you found it interesting. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.